It's a big allegation by Pakistan against India. Pakistan has said it is credible evidence that links Indian agents with the killings of Pakistanis on Pakistan soil. Pakistan intelligence has said India assassinated individuals in Pakistan as part of a strategy to eliminate terrorists living on foreign soil. According to Pakistani investigators, these killings were orchestrated by Indian intelligence sleeper cells, mostly operating out of the UAE. India, the external affairs ministry, has rubbished the charges leveled by Pakistan intelligence, calling it anti-India propaganda. In fact, India has been emphasizing on how targeted killings in other countries were not the government of India's policy. Remember, the Foreign Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar had said this in the past in connection with allegations similar ones from Canada. Pakistan's claims come months after Trudeau, remember, Justin Trudeau had made the claim of India orchestrating killings in Canada. A Foreign Affairs Editor Geeta Mohan joining us this morning. Geeta, External Affairs Ministry has in fact given an indication that these are similar to the allegations leveled by Canada in the past as well, saying that this isn't what India does. Well, uh, this, uh, the revival of the story is because Guardian did an extensive report uh, right. citing and quoting uh, intelligence officers of both sides and uh, reiterating what Pakistan had, uh, the allegations that Pakistan had leveled against India in January, to which India's response was that uh, uh, the, the entire uh, allegations that Pakistan has leveled against India are baseless. And uh, the fact that Pakistan should be looking within uh, uh, its own uh, uh, within its own administration and its own uh, country to see what it has been doing. Uh, the Indian uh, administration back then also rejected this entire uh, uh, the, the entire gamut of allegations that were leveled against India by uh, Foreign Secretary uh, Qazi, and uh, the Guardian report uh, reiterates the same uh, the, the same things that Pakistan had uh, in its uh, press conference said, right. uh, only detailing it further, saying that there are uh, a report that that they spoke that they've spoken to intelligence officers on both sides. Okay. So uh, we do not have a reaction from the Ministry of External Affairs Nea as of now on the Guardian report. Yes. But. In January, India had uh, responded to Pakistan, saying that uh, Pakistan has been the epicenter of terrorism, organized crime, and illegal transactional activities. India and many other countries have been warning uh, the world of that, and to blame others uh, or for its own misdeeds can neither be a justification nor a solution. All right. I'm going to thank you, Geeta, for the moment. Geeta, in fact, putting in the clarification that the government of India just yet has not or the External Affairs Minister just yet has not responded to this particular article that was published in The Guardian talking about how India is in fact orchestrating killings and assassinations on Pakistan soil, but it's a reiteration from their side about their position when similar charges were made the last time around by Canada. Also joining us this morning is Rabindar Sajde, foreign affairs expert. Thank you so much for your time. I want to begin by asking you, sir, how do you look at these allegations as far as the article and published in The Guardian here is concerned, talking about the role of India in orchestrating killings, assassinations on those of those people who are hostile to India on Pakistani soil? No, sure. Thank you. A couple of things, you know, which come out, mm -hmm. I do think, uh, of this. One is that uh, this report, you know, in Guardian kind of mm -hmm. strikes me interesting because it is citing Indian intelligence operatives of the record. That's what the report says, right? Uh, that they've talked to Indian intelligence officials who've told them this. Now, either that's, you know, the truth or it's a fabrication or whatever the twist in the spy versus spy world, we do not know. But to my mind, that's a very interesting aspect of this report. Other than that, yes, uh, uh, I do think, obviously, you know, the, the foreign ministry would of, ab absolutely, you know, reiterate its stance with respect to how India, you know, conducts itself internationally. But at the same time, you know, there's another message in this report also. This message is that, you see, when you are, I mean, in these scenarios, it's not the, uh, if India has done it, supposing. The idea is that you're not only taking out elements which are absolutely, you know, which are absolutely entire you and who, you know, harmed you, but you're sending a deeper and chilling message. So what this report, keep everything else aside, I hope what it does is that it kind of sends a chilling message to those who may be thinking 
about anti india activities right i mean whether real or unreal or fabricated whatever right so i think it's a warning to folks whosoever are of this lunatic mindsets mm-hmm. that watch out such things can happen could happen you know uh, sir i also want to ask you a question and especially because elections are just starting in india how do you see this development from today you know talking about the fact that india has been going after terrorists in canada in pakistan uh, you know a lot of chatter around how actually as far as narratives are concerned this would end up suiting the ruling political dispensation i Absolutely know you're not a political yes. person but i'm still yeah. asking you yes yeah logical yes uh, mm-hmm. see if the intent of uh, whosoever mm-hmm. let's say uh, introduced this report or got this report right. out if the intent was to harm india maybe that's what uh, you know definitely is india's global image and you know create fissures or gaps between india and the west etc mm-hmm. if that was the objective that's another thing but on the other hand this would definitely help uh, the, the the ruling government in india because it shows that the ruling government is taking a tough stance mm-hmm. and acting on things where wherein we are in the right it would help politically yes as a objective analyst it would definitely hit prime minister help prime minister modi and his strong image all right i'm going to thank you sir for putting into that story into perspective and talking to us this morning about the repercussions of this particular news article like there's a lot of chatter about how this is in fact going to help the bjp in the run up to the elections a position that india has by and large taken on these allegations in the past remember viewers is that this is not india's foreign policy to go after terrorists in this fashion on foreign soil is what india has said in the past